Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a Halloween-themed tag. I believe this was created by You Happy. I believe that's how you pronounce it, Beauty. I will have the video that I found along with their channel linked down below. So this is 30 questions, all based around Halloween. They're not really makeup related, but I thought it'd be fun to do some Halloween-related things now that it is indeed spooky season. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit off. I am just getting over a cold, which is why I did miss a video last week or whenever this is going up because uh, I was literally just like at a commission for two days straight. <laughs> I'm recovered mostly now but like it's been 84 years since I've smelled anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna sound a little bit off but you know what it's okay because it's spooky season just pretend it's on purpose <laughs> so we got 30 questions we got plenty to go through so let's just go ahead and jump right in question number one is your favorite horror or Halloween themed song and recently it's been the spooky scary skeleton song there's a remix that I found that I really like I'll have a link down below it's one of my favorites other than that this is Halloween always a classic other than that oh my so my other recent favorite that I just found is called uh, Nocturnal Serenade, I think. It's like the Swedish um, singer who does like really extravagant music videos and the song is like prime spooky season. So I'll have all the songs linked down below. Those are what I've been listening to like on repeat. Question number two is name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or in an abandoned building. Uh, how about anything? Nothing. If I'm walking somewhere and there's something I'm not expecting there, how about no? <laughs> Question number three is, have you ever played with a Ouija board? I think I did when I was like 12 <laughs> or 13. I think my best friend had one, but eh, not really. Question number four is, what is your favorite horror monster or villain? Definitely Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> He's my absolute favorite like villain. I've read all the books. I've watched the movies, even though the Hannibal movie where they replaced Jodie Foster wasn't the best. Um, TV show Hannibal, incredible, amazing. But he's probably my favorite like bad guy. Question number five is the creepiest thing that's ever happened while you were alone. So there's actually uh, a story. So when I was younger, we used to live on base. My dad was an active military member, so we lived in base housing up until the time I was 13. When I was like nine or 10, I had my best friend over and my dad and everyone else was gone. So it was just me and my best friend in the house. And we were on my computer. We had a big desktop computer. We were watching like music videos. I remember specifically, they were like Akon music videos. <laughs> But we were home alone and it was dark and we were listening to those music videos and we hear someone knock really really loud on the front door and then we hear someone knock really really loud on the garage door my bedroom was like if you come in through the garage door it's the first bedroom on the left and then we heard someone yelling and banging on my bedroom window we were scared shitless <laughs> And so we were like screaming, we ran outside, and then we saw my dad. It was my dad and his friend playing a prank on us. Yeah. So thankfully nothing else outside of that has really happened. Like, but I think that was actually like the scared, like most scared I've ever been when I was home alone. <laughs> but it's because like they were playing a prank on us. Question number six is if you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? I think it depends on the house. If it was like a nice mansion, probably. Um, if it's like a shack that looks dilapidated and like not safe no <laughs> question number seven is are you superstitious not really no the only thing i say i'm superstitious about but it's more of a joke than anything it's about the trains i have to take to work like nj transit so i always like i always joke around and say i'm not gonna say anything about my commute i'm not gonna say anything about the trains being on time because if you say oh the trains are running really well today they won't run well so that's the only thing but like when it comes to like actual like regular superstitions no question number eight is do you ever see figures in your peripheral visions this is kind of an odd question but i see hair not like people like my hair is up right now because it's still drying but when my hair is down i constantly see curls and i go like oh what's that but it's it's just my hair it's just my hair question number nine is which urban legend scares you the most i think when i was a kid um it was la llorona because I grew up, so most of elementary school was in New Mexico. So we did hear a lot of those. I think that was the scariest one because like everyone knew it. And back when you were younger, like all the adults used to like say it as if it was a real story, which I don't know if it actually was a real story of a woman actually like drowned her kids in the river. Uh, it's probably based on something. But I think that scared me the most when I was a kid because everyone was always like, yeah, she's just gonna like haunt 
it wasn't even just rivers so the story that i was told was that she would haunt uh like ditches anywhere that you weren't where you're supposed to be and you were alone as a kid she would think you're your she was blah, blah, blah. she would think you were her kid and then she would kill you <laughs> so i think that scared me when i was a kid but as of right now I don't know i think i really love like creepy pastas about like technology so i think the only ones that like i like listening to that kind of scare me are like ones about like the dark web or the deep web i really like those <laughs> question number 10 is do you prefer gore or thrillers definitely thrillers i love psychological thrillers um i can deal with some gore but i, I really like it when it makes you think that there's a mystery involved and it's like thrilling like like hannibal lecter it's more thriller than anything like um I'm trying to think of some of my other favorite movies but most of them are psychological thrillers first and then maybe gore later but definitely thrillers question number is a little bit low question number 11 is do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds i don't know about multiple i mean so we have all of these theories that i am definitely not intelligent or informed enough to really talk about but um i really do I really don't think that we're alone because the universe is like incredibly vast and it's constantly like moving and getting bigger and bigger and bigger so I don't think we're alone out there. I have no idea what else is out there but there's no way that we're the only like beings that have gotten this far in the entire universe you know. I have heard a decent amount about like the multiverse theory about how there's an infinite number of universes and I just have to say I, I mean it sounds kind of cool and plausible but i'm definitely not informed enough to know anything about it so Meh. <laughs> question number 12 is have you ever made a potion of any sort i mean when i was a kid we used to like larp harry potter i know that was like the geekiest thing you've ever heard but continue and I, we would pretend to do it then but like not like like on purpose like legitimately try to make a kind of potion no but like when i was a kid pretending to be at hogwarts yeah <laughs> question number 13 is do you get scared easily yeah yeah i do i'm very jumpy because i'm i'm also very anxious just constantly so yeah i get scared easily question number 14 is have you ever played bloody mary again yeah when i was a kid whenever we had sleepovers you would stay up late go into the bathroom and play bloody mary never saw anything you know it was just fun stupid things to do when you were a kid question number 15 is do you believe in demons and or the devil no i'm not really religious not really superstitious question number 16 is you're home alone but you hear footsteps in your house what do you do well uh i would get 911 on the phone <laughs> and then i would grab a knife because that's the only thing i have up here in my room that could be anything known as a weapon and i mean if it's one set of footsteps and they don't know i'm in the house if I made any move, then they would hear me because it's all wood, it's all creaky and everything. So if I made a certain, it would creak and you would hear me. So I would hope that I had my phone with me so I could just make that call. Uh, otherwise, if I had to go get something, I would have to like move quickly because they would know I was upstairs. But I think I would be at an advantage because I am at the top of the stairs and they're at the bottom of the stairs. So who knows? <laughs> Question number 17, if you got trapped in one scary movie, which one would you choose? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, do video games count? I don't know, because I really like the world of The Last of Us. I think I got jump scared a few times in there, so I think that would count. I also really like, speaking of video games, Until Dawn. I thought that was a really good game. I enjoyed that. Uh, so if I had to pick something like that, I would probably pick a video game more so than like a movie. But if I had to pick a movie... I don't know. I was gonna say the world of Silence of the Lambs, but that's basically just our world with a fictional serial killer in it, so it doesn't really make any difference. But yeah, I think I'd pick a video game more so than I would pick a movie here, and it would probably be The Last of Us. Uh, question number 18. If you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would you be? Um, either Wednesday or Morticia Adams. Timeless. Always looks cute. Question number 19. Would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Hell yeah, except most of the ones around here close pretty early and they lock the gates up, so. Question number 20, in a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Uh, <laughs> depends on what kind of zombies they are. Are they the fast moving zombies of like World War Z, which point you probably need a gun? Or are they like slow moving zombies where, you know, maybe a nice hatchet or a machete? Or are they a totally different kind of zombie? I don't know, I think you would really have to pick your weapon based on like what kind of zombies are coming after you. <laughs> 
Uh, question number 21, would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating? Oh, 100% trick-or-treating. Like, <laughs> uh, I used to actually trick-or-treated through college. And here's a story. I went to college in Washington, D.C., so we have all of the international embassies. Uh, and most of them are in kind of one area, like Embassy Row is the street that it's called. And they would actually do trick-or-treating for the college students. So you could go embassy to embassy, and they would either hand out candy from their country, or they would, <laughs> there were a few places that would do like alcohol. I know at one point the Russian embassy was giving out little bottles of vodka, which I know, uh, given recent events, no one would go there now. <laughs> But back in the day, they would give out like little bottles of vodka. Um, I think I was at, what ugh, what country was it? It was either Papua New Guinea or I forgot what country it was, but like the ambassador was walking around in like a Halloween shirt, not Halloween shirt, in a Hawaiian shirt and shorts and like was doing shots with people. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. So you could trick or treat all the way up to your adult. Like, and I love like handing out candy to kids now, like, cause I really don't have a need to go trick or treating anymore. But I think that's ultimately more fun. And it's part of the whole experience. And the fact that you realize that really trick or treating and like Halloween isn't a thing outside of the States. Like, I think it's something that is really cool that we all just kind of agree that on this one night a year, you know what, kids are gonna dress up and they're gonna go and they're gonna get free candy, okay? <laughs> I love it. It's one of my favorite holidays. Question number 22 is you're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? <sighs> okay, so either I'm the first to die or I'm the skeptic, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I would want to say I'd be the smart one, but I don't know. I'm not funny enough to be the comic relief. I don't think I'd be the final girl. Probably not. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'd either be the first to die a la um, Scream <laughs> or... I'd be the skeptic and I'd probably die because I was like, there's no way that there's a serial killer in here right now. And then boom, serial killer. Question number 23 is, do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? Depends on the movie and how late I'm watching it. If I go to see a movie in the theaters and then like I come home, do some stuff and then go to sleep, probably not. But if I'm like sitting in my bedroom watching a scary movie by myself, which I've done, then yeah, I probably have to put something on, something on YouTube or something as I'm getting ready for bed. Question number 24, whilst watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? I'm a combination of yelling at the characters and with my hands like this. So my boyfriend and I, we went to go see A Quiet Place and while we were doing while we were watching the movie i think we were in the front uh, row of like the theaters where the chairs lean all the way back so it's pretty decent but i was constantly like this like watching between my fingers but then also like whispering like why are you going in there what are you doing don't do that don't do that <laughs> so i was being quiet because you know it was a theater i would never yell at the theater but like if i'm home alone or if I'm home watching a movie, I'd probably be yelling at the characters too. <laughs> Question 25 is, are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? I get scared, obviously. <laughs> Question 26 is, what is your favorite scary book? This, this is actually a good question. I've read a few books where like, I'm like weirded out or anything, but like the only books that I've read that give me like dread in my stomach and like a good kind of thrill to it i again go back to the hannibal lecter series those were so good other than that the other book that like scared the crap out of me and was like so dread filled was the collector by john fowles it's such a good book um i don't want to spoil anything but the first half of the book is told from one perspective and then they flip it and the rest of the book is from the other perspective so that's a good book and that one really scared me <laughs> question number 28 or no 27 is how old were you when you saw your first horror movie? I think I was 11 or 12, if you can call Silent Hill, the first Silent Hill movie a horror movie. I watched that when I was 11 or 12. I think it was the first movie I saw that had like a decent amount of like gore and everything. Eh, it wasn't a right movie. Question number 28 is what was your first Halloween costume? I don't know about the first one, but I'm pretty sure I was like, I remember seeing pictures of like being like a fairy princess or, um, I remember being Mulan, I think, one year. Yeah, the early ones I kind of forgot. Uh, recently, I've been Wednesday Adams. Uh, I just, I just love Wednesday. Question number 29 is, who are you going to be or what are you going to be for Halloween this year? Um, I really want to try and do Morticia Adams, like the makeup. So I'm going to see if I can do that. <laughs> um, but I'm not really doing anything this year other than giving out candy, so. Question number 30 is, if you could have a spooky Halloween pet, black cat, owl, bat, rat, or wolf, what would you pick? 100% a black hat. I kind of like 
always wanted a cat. I grew up with a dog, but we've never had cats because both my dad and my brother were allergic, but I'm not allergic. Um, so I think when I get my own place and everything, I would love to have a cat. And um, it just makes me so sad because I've heard, I don't know if this is still accurate, but I heard that black cats were the more likely um, to be abandoned and to be put up for adoption because people are superstitious. Uh, so I would love to rescue a cat. Um, and if there happened to be a black cat, that'd be perfect. But um, I won't like go to a breeder and get specifically a black cat. I definitely want to rescue because the dog I grew up with was a rescue. We rescued her when she was two years old and she lived um, another 12 years after that in a happy home. So that's everything for this tag. I thought it was really fun. Uh, thank you guys for listening all the way through if you made it and uh, I hope that eventually I'll be able to smell again. <laughs> it feels so weird because it's just it's all clogged. Happy spoopy season to everyone. This is my absolute favorite month. I love it and happy Halloween. Can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Spoopy scary skeletons. Spoopy scary skeletons. I'm gonna sneeze.